Uh, Ian Notts County, another opportunity to, to, to sort out the away form. Um, home, it just another victory against Warsaw, and, and just if you can get your away form right, it, you never know, really. I suppose with the last few games. Yeah, we've uh, we've been uh, obviously inconsistent with results away from home. Um, not to count near an unbelievable club um, with really really good players. Obviously, new managers went in there, so he's implementing his uh, his new style. Um, he's he's a good manager as well, so we're expecting a, a really really tough test on Monday. Um, but as you say, we we have to address the fact that we we haven't quite picked up the results from away from home. Um, but listen, that that's not down to lack of preparation or lack of desire or wanting to win. It's it's just just, we can't quite put our finger on why we haven't had them wins away from home, but we certainly got away games coming up that we're, we're looking to pick points up from. Clean sheets have been an issue. Um, you've had to kind of score two or three to, to win matches, and I suppose that, that's been OK at home. Um, obviously, it's Warsaw a clean sheet, but that's been <coughs> OK at home. But, but it's, it's a lot of pressure on away games, isn't it? If you, if you don't keep a clean sheet, to ask yourselves to score two, three uh, away from home. Yeah, listen, that, that, that's on us as a coaching team. Um, since we've came in, we, we've asked the players to do so much to, to be able to play the way we want to play, dominate the ball and, and really attack. And a lot of the focus has, has been on that because we feel that's really important that we, we get that across the players. So um, we haven't had... Uh, enough time I would say to be able to work on all elements normally at pre-season is where we'll build them defensive foundations then build the in-possession stuff from there so we've came in and we want to dominate the ball so we've worked a lot of sessions on that and um, so that's down to us as a coaching team the boys have the boys have been unbelievable they've, they've done everything we've asked them um, and as I say it's up to us to give them the detail to, to maybe make it a bit more secure at the at the back when we lose the ball in, in them transition moments. Buoyed by the return of Max Dean of course so you know sometimes teams suffer injuries at this point uh, whilst there's no good time to, to lose a player to get one back at this point it, it can obviously only help yeah um, obviously when when Max got injured we we were fully aware that it was it was gonna it was gonna knock us a little bit you know he was flying at the time he was doing really well he's a really important person in the change room as well and um, the boys all they all love him a lot so when he did get injured it, it did knock us a little bit and um, but as you say to have him back um, obviously he came on at the, at the weekend and he was he was unbelievable um, so just to have his energy back and to have him back on the pitch is, is a big bonus for us and as you say it's coming at a perfect time with the, the important time of the season coming in now Probably going to the Notts County game favourites their form is, 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 is dropped off significantly since the new manager that you, you, know, you mentioned come mm -hmm. in so it, it, I mean that pressure you've had at home every time you step out onto the pitch so that's not going to be anything that the players are phased by no, you'd like to think not. Um, we we never look whether we're favourites or not in this league. There's there's results happen different every single week. Um, all we we look at is is what we can do as a team, as individuals, how we can set the game plan up, um, and we look at the opponent and, and how we're going to set that game plan up around them. And, and that's all we we'll look at. We don't consider whether we're favourites to win the game or whether we're not, because um, I really think that Notts County have, have got such a good group of, of footballers, and on any day they can beat anyone. So if we're not aware of that, if we don't understand that, then we, we'll get hurt on the day so we've, we've just got to prepare like it like it's a cup final because that's exactly what it is I mean you've been in the game you know long enough to know these quick turnarounds happen um, over the Christmas and, and Easter but but you, you obviously don't have long to, to prepare for Notts County or review Warsaw I suppose no um, there's there's not long it's a quick turnaround so we we've got to put them them extra hours in maybe it's what you know you it is extra hours. It's really late nights, early mornings, where you've you've got to you've got to look at Notts County for the detail because um, we we have to have that, and we've got to give the boys as much information information as we possibly can, and, and we've got to prepare the boys as best as we possibly can. So um, it's no problem. That that's why we're in the game. We enjoy these uh, moments where it's game after game, and we've got to cram it in. And I'm saying you've got to put the extra hours in. It's extra hours watching football, which we we love to do. Do you know what I mean? So it is what it is. Um, we know we've got to work hard, and and that's what we will do. That's the the mentality from the manager that the first and foremost we just outwork everyone we possibly can in every single department and, and that's what we'll do with the game preparation as well If I can just get a quick word on, on Joe Tomlinson obviously getting a goal on, on Friday it's his first in a little while but he brims confidence, doesn't he? And, and he's always in those positions. Yeah, um, Joe's been outstanding for us since we, we came in. He's really eager to learn. He asks a lot of questions and how we play and, and how he can affect the game all the time. You can see that he wants to, to develop as a, as a footballer. 
his life away from the from the game is absolutely immaculate. Um, he does everything as a as a top pro should, um, and he's just dangerous in in all areas. And he, he never complains. That wing back position is such a hard position. Our team, you have to give us the depth. You have to um, want to attack every moment, but then you also have to defend and you you have to get back. And if we don't get the counter press right, then it's long distances back as well. But he never complains, and he does the he does the yards, he does the distances, and he's just constantly wanting to grow and wanting to develop all the time. So he's reaping the rewards for doing everything properly and and just being a top top pro and a top top person as well. So delighted for him, and, and obviously the sky's the limit for him in, in wherever he you know ends up in his career. That confidence is something that you must be you know trying to harness at, at all times and. and tell to the, all the rest of the players because I spoke to him a few weeks ago said oh what have we got to do to get another goal and he said don't worry it's coming yeah. like, he, he believes in it completely yeah co- confidence is a funny thing and it just comes from habit so Joe's sort of mechanical and everything that he does um, he does the, the same thing the right thing day after day after day and he knows that that consistency is, is going to bring the results and he, he gets his confidence um from his preparation, what he, what he puts himself through all week, and he knows that coming to a Saturday, he's done everything that he possibly can to be in the right frame of mind, to his body to be in the right place. Come the game, he you know he knows he's going to have a good game, and, and that's so important. But we, we've got a changing room full of guys like that, and they're all they're all trying to fight for each other, they're all trying to fight for the football club, um, and, and do as best we possibly can for the football club.